Hi, everybody. I am Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com. And today we have the queen of glitter, uh, Jacqueline Howe from uh, beautiful, sunny Florida, and three willing participants to get face painted today. So we've got three designs for you. And uh, we're going to be doing all things glitter and sparkle. So um, with that, take it away. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So as Blake said, I have a beautiful model today with me. Her name is Layla. So today was President's Day and the kids didn't go to school, even though my kids are homeschooled. But I, I, I was able to get our neighbor to come over so I could have a few more faces. Um, and I decided to do it with um, actual faces instead of face boards. So that'll be nice. And um, so today, um, I also decided it would be a good idea to um, set up my kit as I would normally be on the job so that I can kind of show you um, how I've been doing things a little bit different. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a new norm for us right now, and we're going to be transitioning back. Um, I live in sunny Florida, as, as Blake said. So our state, thankfully, we have been cautiously open um for a few months and so lately we've been doing a few small family parties i've gotten a few you know little parties so i've been getting out there and painting um and i just wanted to kind of go over my routine that i'm trying to make sure i do um each time so for starters before i even um you know when i'm working out the the agreement with the client i always show them I refer them to my hygienic procedures. So I created this and um, basically goes over keeping a safe proximity, wearing a face mask, well child policy, fresh sponges. I use one sponge per child. Um, and I disinfect my brushes in between each child too. Uh, and I sanitize my hands in between each child. And we got people from France, Peru, Belgium. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad to that you tuned in today. So yeah, um, so yeah, I wanted to share with you guys how I've been doing things slightly different um, in the midst of the situation that we're in. So another difference is, um, I was telling Blake, I didn't really want to focus in on my kit too much. It's kind of, I'm really, really due for a new kit, <laughs> a new kit. This one's kind of getting old. And um, no matter how much you wipe it down, right? I need a, I don't know if I should get another craft and go, or you guys let me know in the chat if you have something really awesome that you love, because I'm in the market for a new kit. So anyways, um, one of the things I've been doing is I've been putting in this little cup where I fill it up with alcohol as well as my clean water, right? So I have, this is gonna be my dirty water for rinsing and this is my clean water. And of course, we're gonna be putting in, in that little silver cup. Guys, I got this on Amazon, this giant gallon of, of alcohol. So I just use that and I fill that up. I actually put it in this little squeezy bottle so I can you know, freshen it up. I only put a little bit at a time in there um, so that I can, once it gets a little bit funky, I can uh, spill it out and then ref refresh it. So of course I'm gonna use my brush bath for the clean water and the other water as well. And I put some also in my spritzer. So generally that's um, the main thing. I also have this little spray because after I use my brushes, um, I put it in the dirty water. And then I, um, right before I, I clean them in the disinfectant, I actually spray the handles and I just spray the whole brush because I've been touching it. So that's just the routine. I'm just gonna do it in action so you guys can watch. And um, I shared a few pictures recently and you guys really, um, a lot of people like this one that I shared. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this or attempt to paint, paint this one again on this beautiful face right in front of us, Layla. Okay, so for this design, I actually, you know, when you guys go back and do, uh, you guys look at a design that you have painted before, what I do is I kind of examine it and I'm like, oh, you know, 
I think I could have done this differently. And one of the things I wanted to do was kind of blend that a little bit. I know I'm a, a perfectionist, but that's what you got to do to keep improving, right? So for Layla, I'm going to make sure I kind of blend that in a little bit. So the first thing, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and even wear my, my mask just so you guys can see how I work on the job, okay? So uh -huh. for a, a, a customer like Layla, when my kids come back, I'm gonna take off my mask, okay? But, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little teardrop on here. And this one I'm gonna use, I'm still, I like that teal color. So I'm gonna go with that and put a little bit of the teal, as you can see, just on the tip. And then I'm going to go a little darker on the other side. So just a little deeper green. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got my brush like that. My sponge. Okay. 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 Well, Layla, let's make sure everybody. Which, uh, which split cake are you using? I'm not using a split cake. I just picked up some uh, teal and some green. Okay. Um, I don't know their names. All right. Close your eyes, darling. Um, actually, this green, I believe, is the, um, oh, what is it called? It's, um, oh, if I think of it, I'll, I'll, I'll Okay, I'm going to use the zoom in screen. Okay, there yeah, we go. Good. There we go. Right, so with her design, I'm going to bring this teal up a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go kind of towards her part partition of her bangs there. I'm kind of pointing in this direction because I see I like to paint very asymmetrical um, because you know what there's really nothing to mess up when you do that. So mm -hmm. I don't know I just I like the way it looks. As uh, well. Meg had a question with with the new disinfecting routine. How many you can you do in an hour compared to what you could do before. Uh, it does take time you and um, that's one of the things I tell the customers. Um, I still can do about 10 kids per hour. But, be, but that's because I've been kind of getting into a good little flow. In the beginning, believe me, it was really tough to kind of adjust. Go ahead, close your eyes. I'm going to do a little bit here. Um, but I think now I've got a little flow. So it's starting to get a little bit faster for me. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of do the same thing a little bit like that. Okay, that's a pretty teal color. All right, and while I'm there, you know what I like to do. What's the next step is, of course, put some glitter on that. Right? I think glitter is the next step. Yeah, I was going to guess that. Good. Okay, so with the glitter, I'm going to spritz a smoothie blender. I'm just going to pull it right here, okay? And I'm just going to spritz it with some of that water. Close your eyes, Layla. I'm just going to put it on her eyes. Okay, there you go. Great. And so we're going to put this in my uh, dirty basket here that I have because it's one sponge per child, right? So uh -huh. that. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to get one of my favorite brushes. It's this one. And let me see if it's hard to. There you go. It's Marcella Bustamante's 5A angle brush. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And with that one, oh, uh, Blake, we never had this conversation off um, off screen. So huh? um, if, it, if it's okay, I'm going to share with the, with the friends that I actually made this cake. Sure. And we're just waiting for the right moment to. Um, to, to actually um, launch these, which are my slip cakes. Yeah, these are these are craze cakes that um, uh, Jacqueline's been doing for us, and uh, we can't wait to launch them. But you know, when face painting gets a little better. Exactly. So, but in the meantime, I get to use it. Play with them all the time. So, this is a really beautiful cake because it almost you can use it with fire. To make fire flame, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have that black on the end, which is nice, super mm -hmm. bright. So for Layla, I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start pointing here towards her partition and just kind of bring that in. And I'm just gonna kind of freestyle this a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. Can you move her head just a tad okay. down or the camera a tad up? Okay. There we go. Let's, Perfect. Let's see if we can do the camera a tad up because and I want a little back. lower, a little lower, a little bit to the left. Uh, okay. Just right. Okay. Poor Layla. Okay. okay. So right here, I'm actually going to try to make the flow kind of come curving this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go like that and then pull this way. All right. And I think I'm just going to kind of curve it a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe even curve it off there, something like that. All right. And I'm not too worried because I'm going to cover that area a little bit later. Oh, somebody wanted to see how you started the flame. They, they missed that part. Okay. I'm going to do it again. Okay. The other side. So I'll just repeat that motion. Okay, great. But I'm actually going to go over it a little bit here because it was, I just thought it was a little, it looked a little wet here. Okay. So let me see what it looks like. Let's just go with this like so I'm just going to kind of curve in like this. Okay, and then right here, it's the same kind of motion as up there. I'm just going to make a point and then pull back like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so basically that's it. Alrighty. And now I'm going to do a little bit of the same color on the other side. So we're going to go this way. And I'm going to make it just slightly smaller. Okay, so there's the motion. I kind of make a little swirl going up and then I bring it back. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to do a few little curls. And then right here, I just decided I'm going to just do that. Okay. Another little one there. Okay, so there it is. So that's. Uh, so how, how did you start the flame? I basically. You, this brush is a little bit soft, so it's, um, you kind of have to get used to, you know, the, the way that the brush is, but mm -hmm. I'm basically just pressing and pulling to a point. Okay. See that? Mm -hmm. And then from there, I'm just going to kind of keep it. And go back. Get pointy there. Something like that. So a version of a teardrop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So there we go. All right, Little Argentina. Gotta keep your face right in the middle. Good job. All right. So the next step, when I'm working on a dark skinned or beautiful darker complexion, such as Layla or anybody, I instead of just a boring old white, what I'd like to do is I get some yellow. All right. So as this design, as you can see. I use yellow. Well, I can't, it's hard to show you. So, um, but sometimes yellow doesn't show up, right? If you have that issue, sometimes yellow is very transparent. So what I like to do is I get some yellow and I mix it with a little bit of white. So the white is usually very creamy and thick and it'll thicken it up. And I only put a tiny bit of white and it's just enough to get that, you know, so it's a lot stronger, All right? So I just loaded it and I'm, I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna just do a nice, a nice curvy teardrop here. And I'm gonna kind of follow it. Like I'm gonna kind of follow that flow down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one right away because I'm creating like a little, Almost like a C shape. Mm -hmm. with my oh, we can't see it right now. Oh, sorry. There we go. So, um, Hello from Idaho. There you go. Uh huh. Okay. Great. Thank you. So, right here, I started it and then I went down here and I decided to add another little curl there. Uh -huh. And that's what that was my second motion. And then, right here, I just I'm going to go ahead and continue that line to you see there's a like a c there a backwards c mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna reload a little bit and okay. so then and uh, people want to see you load colors if you don't mind oh my gosh well the problem is i have it on a big tray here i'm gonna 
explain what it what's happening see i have it all uh on this so right it's hard, to, it's hard for to show it okay so um basically i'm just getting that bright neon yellow which i like and then i'm adding a little bit of white and mixing a little bit of white into it okay so once i got a nice thick creamy load that's when i'm going to start just i'm just going to keep you know flowing here i'm just going to keep adding a few little can you, can you guys see okay. mm -hmm. yeah so maybe a few couple little more right here so uh -huh. there's a few spot there where i'm going to either add glitter or some of those pretty flowers mm -hmm. so let's see over here i think i'm going to go up okay wherever i see like the background um i i'm just going to your hand's getting a little in the way i'm sorry how's that yeah it's great okay. that's better i'm gonna just i'm basically just freestyling swirls you know just mm -hmm. wherever you feel the direction of the flow is going all right and let's go ahead and come down here and I think right down here, I'm just, I'm seeing that this kind of comes in right here. So I'm just going to start a little swirl there. I'm just going to go up, maybe another one on this side, do something like that. Okay. And right here, of course, we're going to do that one. I just did a little double. And then I'm going to bring it in do a little backwards teardrop there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And let's see how we can connect this. How about I just kind of do this? Okay. So a lot of kids. Christy can... loves the color combo. Thanks. All right. All right. So it's really, I like, I've been ex experimenting lately with just kind of flowing in different directions and not your, your normal places where you would normally see um, like a focal point. Mm -hmm. So I've just been kind of being a little more free with that. Okay. So like on this side, let's turn this way a little bit. I'm just going to, I see that little curve like that. So I'm just going to kind of follow that and come right down all right okay and then i'm going to layla's little brother is outside playing with my son so that's the noise in case you know <laughs> oh we're missing uh yeah just make sure to make move her face over about four inches there you go good okay yeah all right so now i think right here just go ahead and kind of do that. Okay, I'm just being creative here, just kind of placing teardrops where I feel the need. Okay, how's that? Mm -hmm. All right, can you guys see everything there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so after I did that, so see, I just finished using this brush. I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm going to put it right into my dirty water so it's here i know you shouldn't put brushes like this in your water but guys i've been doing that it's only for a few minutes i have to just confess it's only for a few minutes until i finish painting this design right mm -hmm. yeah i'm adjusting this for you guys is that good yeah okay. that's good okay so the next brush i'm gonna grab is my flora Okay, the blazing flora brush. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a few little flowers to that. So, Jacqueline, somebody's asking whether you sell face painting supplies. In fact, you do. I do. I do. And I do carry craze paint, by the way. Yep, there you go. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I carry, well, I have my whole old line of glitter here. And uh, of course, I have a few paints that are my favorites. Not everything. Okay, I don't sell everything out there. I only sell the things that I like. So, so this is Craze paint. And um, as you can see, I, I like to use it for my split cakes. Sure. So, okay, so now that I have a nice load on my flora brush, 
you notice how much, I mean, like I'm pressing, I'm just pushing it in there and getting a nice load. So the next thing I do, and I, I literally do this almost unconsciously now, like, so I actually use my, my tips of my finger and I clean that off. Um, let me see, can you see that? Okay, so mm -hmm. I just wiped off the tip and now I dip the, let me, let me show you. I dip that little tip into uh -huh. my water, very, very, like literally almost none, almost nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna grab this dark blue. This is one of um, a split cake that I have. It's actually Vanessa Mendoza split cake. So uh -huh. you see, I'm just loading the very tip of that to get a nice dark blue on the tip mm -hmm. while I still have the white, okay? So that's literally what I do every time I double dip. I know some people put these separately in their own separate little double dipping, you know, um, containers, but I am just like, oh, I don't have time for all that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start here because I'm noticing this little spot and I'm just going to plop. Well, first, let me give it a test. It looks great. Let me show you. I just tested it. And so right now I'm just going to start there. I just put a couple of little flowers, flower petals. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to just bring one down here and I'm kind of layering them slightly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Leave that right there. Right here, I'm just going to apply some glitter later on, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right here, let's just go ahead and do a couple of little petals. I'm just being very um, just random with this. Wherever I see a nice little spot opening, I'm going to. See, I just flipped it over to get a nice stretch. So that whole time I was using the same slide. Now I just flipped it over so I can get that nice crispy flower petal again. Well, we can't see what you're doing right now. Okay, good. Alrighty. So that's basically it. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. And here I'm gonna leave it. Okay. All right. So that is. Layla, can you make sure your head is right in the middle of that? There you go. Okay, so at this point, I, let me see what I have here. I'm gonna add another little petal here because I always love to do those right in the inner corner of the eyes. Um, and then let's go ahead and start putting some of that glitter. I, uh, I love to use Glitz Glitter Glue and I know you sell that Blake's I'm going to show you guys what it looks like okay glitter glue okay mm -hmm. that's the product that is literally my favorite way of applying glitter even though I do have the gleam which I can perfect I can totally do it right now but I will I'll, I'll demonstrate the gleam later on so the glitz glue I'm just going to take mine and put it right where I want it you can just put it precisely Ruth loves the way that you're building this design. Thank you. So where are you guys from again? Uh, we have somebody from Ohio. Uh, we have uh, Mexico. Oh my. Um, fair amount of Latin Americans today. Okay. So let me explain something. See, we have Zuri I, from New Jersey. Look at that. I got paint on my tip of my brush. No worries because I'm going to just Rinse it off in my clean water first, just like you do any other paintbrush, okay? Because the nice thing about this glue is it's water-based, so mm -hmm. it's okay if you get, you know, water on it. So you rinse it, and then you put it through the same process as you do the other brushes, which I haven't showed you yet, but I put it into the alcohol, okay, to disinfect it. And then from there, I rinse it again in the clean water and then that's it. I just put it away and that keeps it clean. All right, so at that point, I'm gonna use an applicator like this. Mm -hmm. Hard to see where the middle is, so. Oh, in Orlando, Florida. Uh-huh. Australia. Oh, okay. Mexico, Belgium. Okay, so one of my favorite mixes is called Aloha. Okay, and that's what I'm going to use to put it on. So with that, I just dipped a little bit of this in the clean water and I'm gonna pick up the glitter 
and put it right where I have those the glue. Okay. I like to apply a little bit always around the um the uh this area here, the, the highlight there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a little bit over here. And where else did I put over here? Very nice. All right. She looks amazing. I love it. Mm -hmm. Where else did I put glue? I think that's it. Usually I like to apply the glitter wherever I see a um, focal point. Okay, so like right there, I got the glitter. Maybe a little bit right here. There's a focal point here. Okay. All right. And is that, let me see if that's it for you. I think we should put some some lips on her. So for this time of year, I'm I'm using you know the disposable lip applicators. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's what I've been using to apply lipstick because I don't want to use my paintbrushes on anybody's lips. So what I'll do is I'll use that same lip cake. I apply the um on the the flames. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it flames, but it's not really flames. Okay. Amazing. And New Mexico. Awesome. Okay, so this is disposable. So once you use that, you throw it out. All right, I'm ready to show her. Look how pretty you look. And she's already been looking at herself. <laughs> yeah. So she, but you look amazing, Layla. You like it? Layla, you look great. All righty. Can you go get Naraya? Naraya. Okay, Naraya. so right in between customers, okay? What I'm doing is, well, here's my brushes that I use. So I'm first going to rinse those out. Mm -hmm. Okay, making sure all the paint comes off first. And then this is all happening while we're switching. And, right? and that's, a, that's in a water or alcohol? This is water with some uh, brush bath in it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to dump the two the two brushes that I just rinsed into my alcohol, giving mm -hmm. it a nice, you know, swirl in there. And there, that's alcohol. Okay. So then what I do is I let it air out a little bit. And then before I just stick it back into my kit, I'm gonna spray them with alcohol. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just even on the um the actual sticks. I don't want to spray my daughter in the face. <laughs> but um you get the point right yes okay so i'm gonna put these now back in and you know it's always good to let the alcohol air out don't rinse it off okay i did rinse it off for um my glitter glue because mm -hmm. i don't want alcohol in there okay so that's what i do in between each customer and then i throw my any um sponges that i use or anything into my um you know, separate basket. And I also sanitize my hands in between. So I have my own sanitizer and just in between. Sometimes I sanitize it like during the face painting if I've been touching them a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then when I go to get other items, I just go ahead and sanitize real quick. All right, I'm gonna take off my mask because <laughs> she's my daughter. And I wanna tell you guys a little something about my daughter, Naraya. How old are you, Naraya? 11. 11 sometimes I forget so this girl is obsessed with slime okay so she makes she's actually been making her own slime for a while and she's using my glitter so why don't you show the camera it's right there Let's see you use <laughs> glitter slime yes so she, <laughs> she's been using my glitter colors to make these amazing slimes and they look they're so cool that's cool anyways I just thought I'd share that tidbit with you she's got a youtube channel what's your youtube channel some cute slimy, slimy cat okay so you guys slimy cat yes slimy cat. that's great speaking that of which i think i'm gonna go ahead and um in honor of her slimy cat name that she chose we're gonna paint a little kitty cat on her okay so i'm spraying i'll 
sponge and I'm gonna start with some white. Okay, so lately, you know, with masks, a lot of kids do wear masks. Um, so I just, I've actually been doing the kitty cats and stuff from here up. So I'm just gonna focus on doing it that way. You can, if you wanna stay, you can, or you can, you can go back to your house if you want. <laughs> okay, all right, close your eyes, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is start with white right in the middle. I always start in the nose and just work my way out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mark my area where the ears are gonna be. And even a little bit in here, because it's gonna be a nice blend when it's all done. Something like that. Okay, Uriah, you can look at the camera. And then I'm going to take. I really like these um these sponges. These are the um these are yours, Blake. Yeah, the these, petal. Oh, the craze petal sponges. Petal sponges. I'm not saying that for you know just because I'm talking to you. <laughs> But compared to other ones, these are like really nice. They're dense. They're like the nicest ones that I that I that I really enjoyed because I like the the size of them and I love the density of them. They are really good. And um, they're perfect fit for these um cake split cakes. See how they fit really nicely in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and load. Um, when I do my kitty cats, I like to use cakes that have white um, or whatever the same color is that I put in the nose. So mm -hmm. that way it blends really nicely. Okay, so once you get a nice load on that, we're ready. All right, so close your eyes. I'm going to start up here. I'm just going to do that and then we're going to work our way down. We're going to work our way down. I'm gonna try to keep it in just a little bit. Keep a nice little round shade and blend. Other side. Down we go. Everybody's playing with slime now here. <laughs> Slimey kitty, that is that. Blend cat. Okay, so the more you tap, the nicer blend you're gonna get right here in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little extra there. Okay. Look what I have to do. I'm going to squeeze my sponge so I can get a little bit of this pink here too, because I mm -hmm. try to get all the colors in there. All righty. Alrighty. Just to give you some uh, awareness time, it's 6.05. What? We have 25 minutes left. Oh, okay. I was in, I, for, for some reason, you freaked me out. I thought we were supposed to be done at 6. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> no. Okay, so I just threw that um, purple right there on her nose. If you could move Mariah's face over just a tad to the... Mariah's face right here? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm just using the purple on the tip. And you know what, I can even use that on her lips because like I said, um, I'm using one sponge per child. So I sometimes I do that if I just put a little pink on there. I might go back later and do it better. But sometimes I just do that on the job when I'm in a party. I'll just do that and then she's got such chap lips. Let me cow Mariah. You're like a sandpaper lips here. Okay. All right. I'll probably have to go back and fix that because I don't know if I tell that about too much. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and use another one of my amazing split cakes that I created using Craze Paints. Look at the bright colors on that, you guys. That's vivid right there. That is vivid. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use uh, one of Marcella's brushes here. Element does good brush. Actually, I have this um this one she gave me. Hello, France. Huh? 
We got a France watcher. Awesome. Yep. Okay, so I'm just Virginie going... Gerard Lorenzi. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just getting a little nice load here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little rainbow here. Because why not, right? I can't see it. Oh now I can. Yeah, great. Make sure you're ah, that's beautiful. What brush are you using for that? A one inch? Marcella Bustamante. That's a one inch or a two inch? It's actually a one inch. Okay. okay. She gave it to me. I'm I'm sorry. I don't know if this is out yet, but she's she's making she she like let me play with it. She's gonna come out with this if it hasn't already. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Wow, I, awesome. I, um, sorry, Marcella. I'm. I love this brush, girl. So I had I use I use it all the time, and I think she's going to be launching it very soon. It's a one inch brush. Mm -hmm. I love that it just picks up every color so nicely on my rainbow. Okay, so at this point, I am going to get what? I, what should you see? I think I'm going to use a number three round. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah. And I'm going to load up with black so we can start doing a little bit of tracing. Okay. So we have 20 minutes left approximately. And we have a kiss from Italy. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> All righty. How is everybody's Valentine's? Does everybody have that's a, a That's a good question. How is everybody's Valentine's? So there we go. I just trace a little ear right there. It's, I mean, it's literally, it was just, it's perfectly laid out for you. You're just tracing it. So right here, I'm going to just kind of put these little, you know, thin little fuzzy, try to make it look cute and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. So some people celebrate Galentine's Day and right, some guys celebrate Palentine's Day. I heard. Palentine's? How? Like their pals, Palentine. Okay, fine. Okay. Whatever, whatever it takes. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go down, trace that. I usually do a couple little teardrops there. All right, I turn this a little bit and same thing. I'm just going to. All right, so right here is the middle. I'm just going to kind of pull that in. All right, and. I'm gonna just make it a little fuzzy here too. I'm just gonna. Uh, Carmen, I don't think the split cake uh, that the purple split cake's out yet. I don't think uh, it's it's a creation that um, that uh, yes. Jackie's doing for a craze, but we haven't manufactured and released it because, you know, as you all know, this is a, a, the world's greatest time for face painting and introducing new products. Um, but it will be out soon. Have you come up with a name for it? If we ever um, we manufacture uh, that one, I don't believe I I might have. I don't I, I don't think I did for that one, but I do for all of those the the one strokes because you said we were doing those first, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. We'll see. Do you guys have any good suggestions for names? That would be awesome. Yeah, uh, uh, that, uh, that'll that'll work. Okay, so here's the black. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of um, stenciling some stars. So um, before I start, though, I want to something that I have pre-planned is I'm going to put glitter on it. So I'm going to open my glitter. All right. So that way I, I'm going to use this awesome purple and I'm going to have it ready to go. So that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, she said it's the same purple in her slime. This is the awesome purple that she created with that. <laughs> Okay. So uh, some people uh, took the men in their life, husband, brother, father to breakfast, then spent the day glass etching. Jennifer did those. Oh, yeah. um, some That's people in Belgium, they, uh, they can only meet in four people outdoors in Belgium. So I took some walk with close friends, uh, close friends. Everyone had a great, hope everyone had a great fee day. So that That's helped. beautiful. So happy to hear that. Okay, so I have my purple glitter within reach there, okay? So what I'm going to do, so this is one of the stencils that I created, Vivid Stencil, and that you can use any star 
stencils you have. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to lay that down right here. Gonna... Maybe we should call it Slimy Cat, says Pam Kinneberg. Yeah, I like that. Slimy Cat. <laughs> slimy Cat. There we go. Thank you. Good suggestion. I'm going to send you a free, free glitter for that. <laughs> okay. It's, uh... I am going to grab some of that purple before I take this off and you see how that sticks to that black right there. Okay. Sometimes this is a hit or miss, you guys. I'll be honest with you. You got to be very careful with the stencil. So that one looks great. All right. So here we go. The next step is I'm just going to do a little bit more line work with my kitty cat. We're going to put a few more little swirls because she's not done yet. Close your eyes. I'm going to go ahead and put a little eyeliner first. Our Zoom attendees were uh, made lasagna and painted. And uh, another person, um, uh, they were indoors, just drank, drunk hot chocolate. Doesn't sound all bad. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. Must be somewhere cold because it's actually warm over here. I said they have lots of snow. Yes. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start putting some nice teardrop in here. Something like that. Maybe even like a little swirl here and there. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, it's about it's to. Thundering. Yeah, it's thundering. So my son is knocking on the door. Oh, how did you do the glitter stars? Um, if whoever is asking that question can just rewind it afterwards. But I used this stencil, mm -hmm. and then I applied black. I I actually um applied black first. Mm -hmm. And while before I took the stencil off, I dipped my finger onto the glitter mm -hmm. and applied it. There you go. That's how you did it. Yes. I know. I love that technique. That's okay. a great so, technique. So I think I'm going to just accentuate this little area here. Okay. So there we go. So then right here, let's do the same thing. I'm just going to bring a few little teardrops here. Okay. There we go. That's it. Let's put a little more sparkle on that. So for that one, I'm going to just use, uh, oh, it's princess pink. So this is my pink stack. Okay. As you, if you guys have heard me before, I like to organize my glitters in the predominant color. Mm -hmm. Right, so this would be my pink stack. Uh -huh. I have this little spatula that you can use to apply it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply some right down the middle, right down the nose here. And you can just spread it around because this is the gleam. You guys, this does not reactivate your paint. This doesn't smudge anything. It's, it's, it stays dry. I might actually put some up here too. And anywhere you see a little area that you might want to add a little sparkle to it. Mm -hmm. right. How do you like your kitty cat, Mariah? Is it slimy cat? <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to fix her lips a little bit better because she just smiled and I reminded me. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and open a little bit with my applicator, of course. All right, and I miss putting a little bit of, I always try to put a little black on her nose as well, just to kind of uh, someone said, uh, Nuria asked, don't your glitters dry fast in stackable containers? Do they what? Do they dry fast? 
Yes. Um, oh, so maybe that's a question regarding gels. Mm -hmm. So this is not a gel. Let me, okay, you Ryan, you can go now. I'm going to demonstrate. So um, let Thank me. Thank you very much. So what I'm using here is it's actually Gleam. And Lake has a good selection of them at the facepaint.com. Sure. So I have this really awesome color that I think would match me really well. So what I'm going to do is apply some to myself so I can demonstrate. So this here is Gleam. It's not an aloe base. This is actually a sort of like a balm base. And that's the chunky one? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to apply it here. This is chunky. It's not so be, because of the fact that it's a um, a bomb base. It does not. You're not going to get that drying out. It, it'll last you a long time. If you can think of it as um, like a lipstick. Then sorry, I have black all over my nail. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see. Okay, so but that's the general gist of that. Okay, it's literally the best. Um, way when you're in a rush and you're um, you know you have you don't have you don't have that extra time to put that little the glue and then you know the extra step you can avoid that you can just put the glitter on okay go ahead Raymond you can come to the picture yeah sure yeah yeah okay so this is my daughter Rayma oh she's Hi, Rayma. let's get her a little better angle here she is 14. Gosh, she's getting big. This came back from Facebook. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Can you take off your glasses, darling? Okay. So I'm going to clean my painty hands right now because my goodness. Sorry about that. Okay. Usually I do this in between each child as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for Rayma. I'm going to do uh, a really uh, a design that I also shared with you guys recently and got a lot of good feedback on. So I'm going to do something of that nature. Okay, cool. Okay. And just so, so you know, you got 11 minutes. Okay, perfect. This is actually a very simple, quick design. Mm -hmm. I actually did this. Um, as you can see, I didn't put anything in the inside of her eyes. Um, it's, I usually I do a little sponge work in the eyes first, so I just skip that step and we'll just do it with a one stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and use, for this one I'm using Marcella Bustamante's three quarter long angle brush, okay? This brush is literally my favorite one for roses. And this is my favorite cake for roses, which I created uh -huh. using raised paints. And there I go. cannot wait till you guys try it because it is literally the most amazing split cake for flowers. I'm not making a flower right now, but I um, I will just show you. Maybe I'll make a flower on my arm if you want. But, so anyway, so here it is, a good load. And I'm just going to show you the basics of my princess crown. So just make sure she's in the middle. Okay, can you see okay? All right, so basically I take this brush and I'm just going to start like that and then go on to this side. Okay, yes? Question? No, honey. Okay. No. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to load it one more time. All righty, so right here, I'm going to, oh, you know what, I just noticed something. I didn't use this brush on that design. That's why I was able to flip it. So I'm going to, I'm going to go backtrack a little bit. Okay. Nearly for that design, it was like at the end of my event. I'm going to backtrack. I actually used a regular, um, one stroke, probably because I was doing a uh, a princess and not a rose, but that is the one that I love to use for roses. But this is just a regular one stroke, right? Okay. So right here, I actually flipped it over, and I used the um, the darker side, and I brought that in like that, 
Okay. You cut your side and bring it in. Okay. So you can fill it in right here. So that so that's basically what I do to start off any princess crown. Sometimes I, you know, obviously you're gonna do it a little different every time you just mix it up. So right here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep flipping back and forth a little bit. So I think right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that and then come around. Okay. I feel like it's this gap is a little big, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little there. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm trying to be symmetrical. I'm on my tippy toes because this girl is tall. <laughs> mm -hmm. And she's also very good at uh, Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Yes, she is. She's so smart. This girl is like my smart introvert, my intelligent introvert. Spent a lot of time talking to uh, Reina at uh, in Washington D.C. at the last uh, Capitol convention. convention. Yes, yeah, she. I brought her with me to Washington, and that was a lot of fun. She was such a help. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right here, I think I just basically, I went like this. Just fold it up like that. Same thing on the other side, just like that. Okay. So literally, that is the base of that design. Mm -hmm. then, that was fast. What's that? That was fast. Yep, it is very fast. So, and that's it. I'm going straight to a round brush now, mm -hmm. just to do the teardrops and line work. Mm -hmm. And this is just a round number four. So I've been just uh, practicing, I'll share with you guys why um, I've been really practicing swirls. One time I was at an event and this lady, she told me that I look, that my artwork looked like Norwegian art. And I was like, really? I didn't know that. And um, so I started looking it up and it's literally that, uh, you know, like frozen, you know, frozen, how they, their, the decorations or dresses and all that, that style with a lot of swirls. Um, it's basically that. So I started kind of studying that style and kind of, uh, you know, working on it a little more. And I've just been doing a lot more pretty swirls and just practicing different designs. I'll show you. A little mm -hmm. sheet that I kind of did, you know, just to yeah. kind of do a little practice time. So sometimes I just like to sit and practice. And, you know, especially around this time where we haven't got a chance to go out and paint as much. You guys, painting is like therapy, right? <laughs> we need to like still paint and, you know, realize that it's kind of like riding a bike. You're not going to forget but you do need to keep practicing. So you keep that, you know, you kind of pick up where you left off. You can continue improving. All right, so basically I'm just adding swirls wherever I see fit. And sometimes I do them forward, sometimes I do them backward. And so I think right here we're just gonna kind of curve them in. Here. Oh, it's getting really stormy here in Florida right now. Really? Okay. Yeah, we're just, we get these storms, they like just pop up out of nowhere and then it blasts in and then it goes away in like five minutes. But I'm not sure what time, what kind this one is. All right, so now here. I'm going to do this little swirl that just happens to magically appear here. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So in the middle, I kind of feel like we want it to do a little text here. Okay. So 
sometimes I put little dots to connect that. Mm -hmm. Okay, get a little closer so you can get a nice close up of that. There you go. All right. I think I like it just the way it is. I don't want to go too overboard. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what? I'm just going to add some glitter. Oh, before, well, before when we were doing, when we weren't uh, worried about touching lips, I would just take that brush and just paint her lips mm -hmm. with it to give it that same, you know, nice ombre look. I'll do it now because she's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> And she can't say no. <laughs> I mean, you know, you could still do it if it's the last customer or, you know, you're not planning to use this brush. Right. Again, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, though. So now I'm going to add my gleam glitter. The same one that I was using earlier. This is actually um, called Blazing Unicorn. I like to use it with the pink um, glitters. And I'm looking for my applicator. And my, oh, here we go. All right. And this, this is the chunky glitter or the gleam? It's oh, the green. It's, I'm going to use the gleam. Okay. Um, I'm, I was just no, um, letting you guys know that this applicator, you can dip right into the alcohol in between as well and just clean it like any other brush, which is nice. Alrighty, so right here, I'm just going to pick up some of that and just put it right in the middle, okay, to give it like a gem look. So instead of putting a gem, you can just put this awesome glitter called Blazing Unicorn. And then you can, it's a very nice creamy um, mix here. So it actually spreads, you know? So if you take out a little glob of it, you can kind of just spread it around exactly where you want it. And I like to make a nice little arch sometimes over the princess design like that with my glitter. It's like you're actually using it to draw with, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna add a little more down here to highlight her cheekbone there. Heck, we're sold out of it. Oh boy, I gotta get you hooked up with some more. Exactly. Okay. Beautiful design, says Kathy. Thank you. And just magically you just put it everywhere you want to. Mm -hmm. And pull it in a little better. Okay. So look, so this is a design that you can do super quick and you didn't even have to paint her eyes because sometimes kids don't want you to paint, you know, on their eyelids or they're really, you know. Uh, move around a lot and you just want to be quicker you can do that but it's just as easy enough to do a little swipe you know with the actual brush with the actual piece you can just mm -hmm. swipe in there as well but I just did it that way for now so is it time is that all our that's time that's it that's everything well thank you very much uh Jacqueline that was great uh I really appreciate it thank you very much Raina uh and all the children um, this has been terrific, and uh, we're going to have you back on June 7th, and so we're very excited about that. And next week, we have Patty DeLeon on on-the-job designs, and then next week after that, on March 1st, we have Linnea Ownerby Novak doing Star Wars designs. Ooh, that we don't get a lot of boy designs, so we're excited about Star Wars, so, you know, that'll be fun, too. Ooh. And yep. Adriana says, you look amazing, Raina, so... <laughs> Um, okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody. And, uh, keep, keep painting out there. Uh, it, this will be over and hopefully this vaccine will get us back to business. So anyway, thank you very much, everybody. And have a good evening. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.